Today on The Technology Guy, I'm going to be taking a look at the call quality of the Zoom PodTrack P8 with both the TRRS connection and the BTA2 Bluetooth adapter. I'm also going to be comparing it with the TRRS and Bluetooth call quality of the Rodecaster Pro. Thanks for watching The Technology Guy. This is going to be a follow up video to the comparison I did a couple of weeks ago of the Zoom PodTrack P8 and the Rode Rodecaster Pro. You can see that video by clicking the link above. I was finally able to get my hands on the BTA2 Bluetooth adapter for the pod track. So I wanted to do a comparison to see what kind of call quality could be expected. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe, turn on those notifications, like, and share. That would greatly help out this channel. So the pod track P8 is supposed to be the most fully featured portable, all-in-one pod track recording solution currently available, and currently priced $100 less than the Rodecaster Pro. Only thing about that is if you want to be able to use Bluetooth, it's going to require you spend another $50 to get the Zoom BTA2 Bluetooth adapter. This is the same again, it's the same for the smaller PodTrack P4. If you want to use Bluetooth on either one of these, you're going to have to spend the $50 to get the additional adapter. The real hope for me is that extra $50, which ends up putting it only $50 less than the Rodecaster Pro, is going to result in a much better call quality over Bluetooth than what I'm currently experiencing with the built-in Bluetooth on the Rodecaster Pro. Now, I'm going to jump to the end before I get there, and I'm just going to assume, and I may be surprised, but I would think that the TRRS connection on either the Rodecaster Pro or the PodTrack P8 is going to be better than the Bluetooth on either, on either one of them. But let's see if spending that extra $50 for the Bluetooth adapter is going to be worth it. Okay, so this is how we're going to set up this comparison. I'm going to be using the TRRS and Bluetooth of the PodTrack P8, the TRRS and Bluetooth of the Rodecaster Pro. I'm going to be doing both audio comparisons on what you would hear from a caller and what a caller would be hearing from you. All of these audio samples and all of the call examples are going to be with my iPhone 12 Pro Max connected via Bluetooth or TRRS. I'm also going to be using a generic TRS cable and not the $30 Rode cable. Zoom doesn't have their own cable, so I'm just going to be using a, a generic one so we can have a direct comparison. So let's get started. You are currently listening to the PodTrack P8 Bluetooth connection. This is the audio that you would be hearing from the caller as it's being recorded into the PodTrack P8 and what the rest of your audience will also be hearing from that caller. Now what you're hearing is the quality of audio that your caller would be hearing on their end of the conversation. So this is what when you're, if it's just you or if you have other people joining in on your podcast that are with you and you have a remote caller, again, this is what they're going to be hearing on their side. Now, this is the Rodecaster Pro Bluetooth connection and the audio that you would be hearing from the caller as it is recorded into the Rodecaster Pro. And again, this is what your audience and, and yourself, this is what you're going to be hearing from a caller. Now we're listening to what your caller would be hearing from you and any local guests that you have if you're connected via Bluetooth on the Rodecaster Pro. And next up, we're going to go back to the pod track and see what the TRRS audio quality is like. We're now back on the PodTrack P8 and now connected with the TRRS cable. And this is what you would be hearing from a caller as it is recorded on the PodTrack P8. Again, this is what you and any local guest would be hearing from a remote caller on the PodTrack P8. And now this is what it would sound like with the PodTrack P8 on your end connected via TRRS, this is what the remote caller would be hearing from you and any of your local guests. Again, this is what the remote caller would be hearing 
via a connection on your end of TRRS to the pod track P8. So now we're listening to the TRRS connection on the Roadcaster Pro. And this is what you would be hearing from the caller, again, being recorded directly into the Roadcaster Pro via the TRRS connection from your cell phone. And now we're listening to the TRRS connection again with the Roadcaster Pro. And what you're hearing now is what the caller would be hearing from you and your local guest on their end of the conversation. Again, this is being recorded as the caller would be hearing you. So after listening back to these a few times, I was a bit surprised at the quality of the audio coming from the PyTrack P8 with the BTA2 Bluetooth adapter. I think it made the poor quality of the Rodecaster's Bluetooth really stand out even more to me than it already did. I think that the TRRS connection on, on both of them sounded pretty equal with maybe a little bit of an edge going to the Rodecaster. I think it's close enough on the, the cabled connection that it's just a matter of preference. But I really think that when it comes to the Bluetooth, that really helps the pod track set itself apart. And am I hearing that differently than, than you did? Again, let me, let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to go back and watch my overall comparison between these two. I'm really starting to like the pod track the more I use it and get used to it and, and fine tune those settings the way that I like them. I definitely still give the edge and overall audio quality and audio processing to the Rodecaster, but if Zoom can, can provide some updates and bring up their level of audio processing, I think I may stick with the pod track for a while. All of the audio, other than during the comparisons when I was switching back and forth between the two, all the other audio has been recorded on the Zoom pod track P8 using a Zoom ZDM1 dynamic mic. The only pro post processing that was done was in Adobe Audition, and that was just a little bit of noise processing to get rid of some of the background noise, which again, the Rodecaster handles a lot better than the PodTrack P8. So give me your opinion in the comments. Do you even have any use for Bluetooth on either one of these? Would you buy the pod track just for the better Bluetooth quality, even if you had to spend the extra 50 bucks for it? Or would you just rather stick with the well-proven Rodecaster Pro? Let me know. Now, before I close this out, and understand you may just want to skip this part, but I have to talk about one of our family's fur babies. And those that have those furry little family members, you'll understand. But a couple of weeks ago, we lost one of our golden doodles. Addie was just five years old, and losing her was sudden. You couldn't see her, but she was always in my office. I think every video I've ever recorded, not just on this channel, but on a, another channel that I have, she was always either under my desk at my feet or right behind my chair, so I couldn't even move my chair back. She was an absolutely crazy but loyal and loving member of our family. She and her sister Izzy spent every day with me in my office and in videos normally just out of view of the camera. So, well, sometimes they weren't just out of view. I know Izzy tried to make an appearance with one and uh, I think Addie might have been in, in one on, on the other channel that I have. So there was a couple of weeks break in between me recording anything. And that's, I mean, honestly, it's because part of my, my normal crew when I'm in here doing, doing work or doing anything else just wasn't here. Addie is being and will be greatly missed. And, and those that have, you know, bonds with their pets, they understand how heartbreaking a loss like this can be. So thank you for letting me share. Thanks again for watching the Technology Guy. I will continue to do some more comparisons between these two devices, the Rodecaster Pro and the Zoom PodTrack P8. If you like the content, please let me know in the comments and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time.